welcome to our channel, Loving Hand Crafts by BMW. This is Brenda. So today, let's talk cake toppers. My niece is having a Mohana, 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 Mohana themed birthday party. I decided I was going to cake topper. Be doing that. Um, so I have uh, what you see um, in is like um, a couple of design elements. You no, know? so I have uh, the three because you. make this as is um then I have a print and cut this is the acetate layer shadow layers her name is and yeah those are the different layers. how I gather so the first thing you can do, this is going to be, let me just, it has an acetate layer, a shaker, pick top. Um, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to put everything back together. Hide it. Hide everything. Don't want it mess this up in case I have to um, reprint something. That's so we're going to start with the clear. So I'm going to take you uh, Google so you can select your image. So you can decide, you know, this is me looking at cake Moana themed. Since my niece is three, I didn't want to go with a girl like the young age girl I wanted to baby Moana do whatever you choose but this just gave you an idea on what cake toppers look like you can try to duplicate this you thing I'm kind of going to do my own thing um so that was me just doing like some basic saw what kind of cake toppers out there um then my next search was where can I find images of Baby Moana. So I just typed in Baby Moana and I came up. So that's your first decision. You're going to need to take it back. So since I've already uploaded my image, that in, I, I actually found this. I needed to add a no, I'm not going to do anything with them right now. I'm adding them. I'm just going to. The main thing I want to do is get my base going. Get my base going for my shaker stack. I'm going to start with the circle. And then I know I'm going to start. Start. Then I'm going to duplicate. I want to keep. All right. So. And. So I want a smaller circle. Now, this is where you decide how big or how thick you want your ring place. Just for contrast. So, that looks about right. I six. Inner circle appears to be about five by five. That looks about right. Now you decide how thicker than you. So before I hit slice, I'm going to group them both together. 
I'm not going to do at the bottom. Then I'm going to hang on to this. It doesn't really. There you go. I'm going to use H. I'm going to change that to yellow. So put out in yellow little cardstock. This now, now becomes my acetate layer. It's a little small, so I'm just going to get a little ever so slightly. You won't see I'm trying to not mess up. Not too much bigger. Add to the bottom. Now it's behind my ring. And the ring is going to cover the foam layer that I'm going to use. That looks. I'm going to change this color of the acetate layer. That just visually like that's what I'm looking for. Okay, head out the way. All right, this is going to become my base. So before I do anything else with this, I already know I want. Bit bigger than six by six, but I'm gonna hang on to it and I'm gonna add the text. I need to um angel's name. I'm gonna add a text box. And it already has the uh font that I'm using. It's called cutting up. It's got three layers. I'm gonna hang on to it. Change this. That's baby girl's name. I'm liking it. I'm going to keep it like that. All right. I don't want all of these. Delete. You can hide that or you can delete. Crash. I'm going to hang on to this. Then I'm going to offset layer. I. I don't like that offset layer. I think it's much for what I've got going on. I'm just that's what I kind of like. Not too thick, but oh, from snap, just right. There we go. All right, I'm not going to keep um, black. What I want to do, or make any other move, I always delete it. That off to this. So what I'm going to do, or I grab both of these. That back that I'm gonna probably should. just decide where you I'm gonna hide the uh, text. Take these pieces and align. I'm going to try that was that looks about right they're they're touching add up a little bit yeah see they're touching so I'm going to weld these So 
this now becomes my base. It's still the same size, and I'm not going to make any changes just yet. Because whatever changes I want, I want to make them um, like together as a group. Because I, one change will affect everything. So, I know that this layer is not going to be sturdy, and this is my very last layer, and this is going to be a um, cutout with craft board. I'm going to duplicate this again. They're, they're the same size. So, what I'm going to do, I want, up, you know, I want this to be a slightly larger. This is going to stay here, but I want this to be slightly larger. And so I'm going to decide how big I want this. I think I'm going to go about as big as I want it. I think I'm doing About eight. No, it can be as big as you like. All right, I'm going to take this piece, all these pieces. I'm going to change this color now. It's going to be my darkest color. All right, it's going to be white craft board. This is. That's going to be dark. So I want the craft board. This layer, this I have be sturdier. Cover that. This layer. This layer is going to be lighter than this one. But before I any more changes, I want to get everything. So now my angel my offset layer Then I'm going to my ring. You kind of see where I'm going with this? Everything's fine for myself. Back out here as long as you're with the group. And then the only thing that's missing is my uh, other layer. Or do any couple of things missing. My number three I have for her birthday. Then I'm going to do an offset. Let me work on this. So I'm going to go back to images. I'm going to type in a new move. I didn't mean to put the dot behind. And then I'm selecting a three that, help mul that has multiple. Layers. This is the one that I like the best. Add to the group.
Because what before I make this other these components bigger to match this, I just need to make sure that they're all all those together. So for my three, my top flow flare is going to be yellow glitter dot chrome. Like that. My second layer, I'm going to pull in white. Then my last layer is going to be that dark. This dark blue that I haven't made. That's what that is. There we go. Now I'm kicking. Now everything's good. So now I've got my be ready. Here's my image I brought in. That to the front. And so now I'm going to just kind of place it on here. And I may have to adjust again, but this will give me a Probably gonna be and a way bigger, too. but I don't want it so big it dominates the. So I'm gonna keep this perfect like. That's exact because I want to hang my three right here. So my three is kind of matching. So I'm going to leave it like that. Group them together. Then I'm going to. And I can kind of keep that. You can make this as offset as big or as wide or as like. I think I'm going to just take it down a few. How I like it. So what I'm going to do, I don't want all these little cuts. And offset. The offset layer says print cut. I don't want that. I want to for now. And then I want to go to color. And then I just want to hide this. Everything. Then change that back to white. Because the offset layer. Then I'm going to make sure I have everything selected and flattened. I've got one big perfect. That's that little housekeeping for that image. Now, this, these little guys. Doesn't have to be give you the uh, visually. You don't lose sight of what you're. Doing. I'll put that. Now I'm gonna slap a picture in, and my picture probably looks a little image because. Can always adjust. I don't want it hanging off the side. I want it to be ever so. And then now let's deal with it. Oh my God. I've brought the it's my I guess my great niece ever 
is she's turning three. My brother's daughter, her mom, April, oh, Angel, birthday party for Angel. And her grandmother is named for her uh, little Angel Marie. Not to get confused with her grand or granted her. Well, that looks good. I have a chance out of fiddling with it. I'm going to bring that up together. Now everybody looks good at this point. So I'm going to bring them all together in Now you can do your cake topper any which way you want. Everybody, all of these layers, I need it to move one unit. This is going to remain the same. No need. I've got it exactly how big and wide that I want. So I'm not going to change any. That set. All I'm going to do is take this and kind of make it fit into the where I want it to fit. How big or how small depends on how much you of the glue behind. That's the idea. But keep in mind, you got to keep that. That's about. It. I could go. Over. to see where I'm getting at. I tell you. That's it. You're good. Now you're ready. Um go ahead and cut it out. So I'll just go I'm I've already cut it out. So it be all the mat. And then um once I do that I'll take you over cut. And once cutting is done Here's the cut. Craft board. Yep, everything looks good. There's my yellow glitter cardstock. It's going to be my blue glittered cardstock. That's the perfect. So I'll meet you guys on the other side for assembly after everything finishes cutting. Enjoy. you all the pieces that got cut out so here's the ring with the um acetate layer um print and cut layer here there 
See here all my little bits and bobs for the name. Turn that around. So that's going to make sure I get it right. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to spend a lot of time with this. Um, e, so Angel. Here's her. She's three years old, so she's going to be so happy to get this cake topper. I know her mom is. Um, here's the other layers. So that's going to be that layer. Um, I did the cake topper in white. Like this is a um, craft card stock. I did it in white, but I didn't have, um, I don't know what happened. I just didn't have enough of it. But the one that I actually, I did two. So uh, this is the one that I had the craft cardstock left over, craft board cardstock. So this is the one you're getting to see. But the other one's in white, and you can choose whatever color. doesn't really matter um, what color because this is covering, this blue is covering that completely. So you really won't see it. It will just be on the back side. So it really doesn't matter. You could use black. For, I could use black for all I, I, I Just use what you have in your stash. So that's the dry fit of that. That's all going to go there and lay that. And then these are the sequins that's going to be for the shaker. A whole bunch of sequins over here. So lay that to the side. So the first thing I'm going to do and let that dry um, is get the acetate layer down. Now the thickness of this circle can be whatever you want it to be. You know, um, this ring could be thinner, thicker, however. Um, you know, I think the thicker it is, the easier it is gonna to lay down the uh, foam. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna oh, if I can get my glue started, the needle back in there. Um, I forgot to show you the foam, and I forgot something. So let me go grab that first. Okay, so I had to go get my foam that I was. Uh, I've got foam squares and I've got a roll of foam tape that I'm going to be using here. What the heck? Hmm. Pen that I'm using. Okay, there it goes. So I'm just going to do some dots of glue. And what I'm going to try not to do <laughs> is move that acetate around. You can choose to use liquid glue. Um, you can use whatever glue or adhesive you like. I actually got a little bit. I should have did it closer to the rim. So I'm just going to leave that to the side and let that set. That um, when I'm ready to do the shaker bit, it'll be ready. And back in, just in case. All right, so all of these layers that I have are gonna be popped, and I should have done, I should have did this on camera, so you'll forgive me. Um, this one's not, uh, it's gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna foam, do a foam squares for all of it. Um, yeah, and I don't think I have my skewers. Hmm. But anyway, digress. So I'm mailing this. So I'm going to not adhere the uh, skewers uh, on this because I'm putting it in the mail and I want it to be, um, I don't want it to get damaged. So I'm using some wooden skewers. I'm going to send it to her and some decorative straws that I'm going to send to my niece. Um, this is for my great nieces or just my niece, her third birthday. So my brother's daughter, her daughter, having her third birthday. And it's this weekend. Pretty stoked. And we were supposed to go visit them, but due to work scheduling issues, we are not going to be able to go. So I had to improvise and mail it to her. So I've already mailed it to her. Uh, but I just wanted to 
show you how to put this how I put this together and you know my design process and my thought. And I'm really loving these cake these cake toppers, so I can see where I'm gonna be using that <laughs> Where I could be really doing like a, a lot more of those in the future. These are smaller and thinner. Hmm. These from the Dollar Tree. But um, yeah, you want to put enough foam, foam, whatever you're gonna use, enough where it won't sag. So when you think you've got enough, um, you can do the sag test. And oh yeah, okay, so yeah. <laughs> Should have did it on this one, but that's okay. I can just lay it on top. I did it the backwards. Like, see, you can see sags. It was supposed to daunt this one, but oh, well, you know, it won't hurt anything. Pay better attention. This has been a, the most challenging project to date for me, only because there's so many pieces. But it's not a lot of pieces. It's like just three, three layers. It's not that complicated to put together. There we go. It won't leave. But it's just, you know, coordinating pieces and colors. And since she wanted a Moana themed party, and I've never seen the movie, like I said earlier. I don't know. About it, but it looked pretty fun, so probably will check it out. Um, I would have thought she was a. I, thought, I could have swore my niece told me that little angel was a an Elmo fan, but I guess she was graduated from Elmo <laughs> to Moana. <laughs> That's her from Sesame Street. I love Sesame Street. I, I mean, I was in college. You know, we had those rare afternoons. Not doing anything. You don't have any homework. And you maybe had the class cancel. And I would come home in the afternoon. It would be so unexpected. And I would turn on my public broadcasting station, my PBS station, to catch Sesame Street and Reading Rainbow. And I was just stoked. I mean, in college, you know, I'm getting a kick out of watching Sesame Street and reading Rainbow. But it was like, it was such a pleasure, you know, to kind of turn off that analytical college brain and watch something like that. And then um, I'm, I'm always marveling that when you're little and you're watching that, you can't, you don't know the words. And, you know, you don't, you know, they're doing the counting and concepts. and now, as a, you know, not quite an adult, but working on being an adult, because you know you're still in college and you don't feel like you're all the way an adult. You don't have a house. I mean, I didn't have a house or bills or anything like that. But I'm watching Sesame Street, and I'm like, I know that word, and I know this word, and I understand this. I was kind of stoked. I don't know. Maybe I was just a weird kid, but I enjoyed it. It was like pleasure. And any chance I had, if I got off early or from work or whatever and um I had an opportunity to watch Sesame Street or Reading Rainbow I took up on it I mean and you know when when the bar Burton was on there that's one layer Boom. I was pretty pretty stoked about that so this is the next layer that's going to go in and then we'll be ready to do the cake topper. So what I'm trying to do, keep like a dry fit and just keep like a little, you know, not quite it's centered, but you want to keep like a little of this blue showing because you want a little bit of that showing. You know, it'd have been cool if I had done another layer. So if you, so you can make as many layers as you want, but if I had made just a little layer of white, maybe, and then the blue to bring in all the colors. That would have been cool too. Now that I sit and think about it, I was like, okay, I could have did another like four layers instead of three layers. What's yeah, oh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four layers instead of three. That would have worked. But you know, the brown works too because of the boat. So 
Well, nothing's lost here. This is good. So now I'm going to turn it over the right way and do it on this glitter layer because it's like the bottom. So I'm just making sure I flip this over and do it that way. Make sure I go around the perimeter first to get these film foils on. And I should have did a lot of them before I started filming. But oh well, just, I get a chance to talk to you guys. And so the other thing that I, um, when I had that rare afternoon in college, some work and didn't have any homework, I was a, I didn't realize I was a huge Perry Mason fan. I still am. Of those old black and white Perry Mason movies, and it's so impractical and doesn't, it's, 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 you know, the whole thing, the drama of it all is just so unrealistic. <laughs> Um, but it was it was a, like a guilty pleasure to watch that as well. Maybe I'm dating myself. This is the old black and white. You know, not the made TV movie specials that they had out. But I'm a product of the era. I'm a TV girl. I mean, I grew up. Um, I grew up there was only the four major, the three major networks and the two public access channels and. We live so close to Canada, you could um, add in the Canadian broadcast from the CBC, so Canadian Broadcasting System. We were able to get the Canadian um, TV shows and stuff from Canada. So we got a chance. I got a chance to get exposed to a lot of stuff from. I think that's maybe why I am a uh, single file right now because I watched a lot. No, we only had three channels. Oh, we had three. And nowadays, you have so many channels, you still can't find nothing on television. That's worthy. So, yeah. Here we go. We're just peeling off these backers and getting this done. Handling it, getting it done. Such a pretty thing. I mean, it's it's really beautiful. Uh, oh, I need to do a cake topper now. So now, um, I think I'm gonna do. For Willie and I, uh, we did a. Okay, I'm really gonna tell you my age. We did a 50th birthday party a couple of years ago. So um, Willie is six months older than me. And. Uh, we threw a 50th birthday party on my birthday. He's, uh, his birthday is in December. He's exactly six months old. And my birthday is in June. So we had a fifth, a combined 50th birthday party. So I'm thinking when I do like maybe our 50, 55th birthday, I will be able to own cake topper and do something really elaborate and over the top with it. Now I know how to do it. First time doing a cake topper, and I am really excited about that. So if everyone, you know, if I find out someone in the family's having a birthday party for one of our relatives, the little ones, the littles, certainly be happy. This is pretty cool. Half the fun was picking out the images. I think I said that. And figuring out which direction I wanted to go. That's kind of like the hardest part. And then determining um, if what shape after that. If you if you know if you want to go with the circle shape or you want to do something. Um, and now that I know how to do one, I'm thinking. You know, I can do something a little bit more elaborate. Be quiet. So that's that. Yay! Boom, 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 boom. So now is the part where we do this. So what I'm going to do... Roll... 
I'm going to take this and then I'm just going to follow circle and try to be really mindful where I laid this. I don't want to lay it too, you know, you don't want to lay it too far close to the acetate, but I think I'm just using this area of the acetate right here to try to stay in line because this will hold in the shaker bit. because so, you don't want your shaker bits to fall out. And then if I do it in a circle and I keep it like in between, that's why it's sometimes nice to go with a thicker circle when you're doing like this. Uh, just a tad thicker than you, you know, because then it'll hide the, the foam tape. And then you have a little bit more room to work with it where the foam tape is not coming in. So that works out pretty good. And I'm just keeping it attached to the roll so that it won't like make a big mess, big hairy mess. And then so what you're wanting to do when you get to the end is just make sure that you don't have that you don't have a gap and then I'm just going to cut it so that I could make sure I didn't have a gap because what I don't want is to have a gap in there and that's really nice and high for the shaker parts so next I'm going to lay the shaker And so I got these uh, sequins from Dollar Tree. I went back to go. I was kind of bummed. Kind of bummed. So this is where you can decide how much shaker fits you on it. Take your creative license. This is the other one. So this has got seashells and stars and I'll give them balance. So all I'm gonna do is be very, very careful. I don't want it so piled up on itself. That's the look that I'm going for. I'm going to turn this back over very carefully and then I'm going to remove the backer. And I'm going to double check that out, make sure that there's no gap. A little glue. Get some dot of glue. There go. I lay it on top then I'm just gonna let that set so I'm just being very careful and remember you know why I said I put that glue on there so you can move it around there we go let that set I'm not gonna touch it and let that glue set up her name I will give that uh, opportunity Can't see the mess I got on the other side of me. It's gonna be so pretty. I'm so excited. And then I'm gonna do the sag test, as they as I call it. Now, you can choose if you want to do foam squares or not. That is your prerogative. I 
that's how that's gonna boom, boom, boom. having the I'm getting it done. Yeah, I milled the, like I said, I milled this piece and she absolutely, oh, it was pretty silver. No, maybe I'm saying my, they stoked anymore. I gotta be really careful because the, the husband. had um sharpened because I was doing some uh, wire ribbon and hurt her on those scissors. I'm just gonna get this adhered as best I can. And again the glue is on there just so you can uh, give a little you don't have to put it for the longest time, I didn't do that. And then I was like, you are a bonehead. You need to be doing that. These aren't going to be popped out. Of, these are just going to be flat. Oh, and it just dropped out of my hand. Work out like I planned. <laughs> okay, maybe I didn't have enough glue. Well, it's on glitter paper, so you've got to be, you know, gluing the glitter is quite a challenge. I want to make sure it's straight. That's a challenge right there in and of itself. There we go. So I, technically, I could have put the letters on first. Pop dot. I didn't do that. This I wasn't thinking. Angel. They don't stay little for very long. Next thing I know, my niece will be telling me, Angel's getting ready to go to kindergarten. I could have did it the other way. Oh well, it works out. That's as long as you get the letters adhered. And like I said, I can well other stuff is setting up. I'll still that to the side till I'm ready and then I can put the three together and I've got to get some smaller pop dots hang on I'm just really thankful for the dollar tree having all these okay so what I'm going to do I'm do the opposite of what I did within um, I'm just going to add this to the three first because it seemed to have worked better I had a little bit of problem with Dimension. I'd probably recommend doing this first. If I had to do it all over again. And I did it to the wrong, wrong one. Let's go into the white. Let's 
supposed to be white. And then Yeah, I caught that. And I've gotten some, well, I'll use this one. I've gotten some, just some smaller pop dots, just because I don't want to have to uh, cut the square ones. So these are uh, foam squares, so that these are just the round pop dots. And I don't need a whole lot of these, just in some strategic places. And that'll take care of this. And guess what? This cake topper is almost done. Almost done. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited. It's done because now I'm getting hungry. So I'm like, I run the food. Nosh on. So hurry up and get this done because your stomach is galling you. Oh, and I see another spot. Yeah. There's a wrap on this. Oh, see, look. I just can't help but shake that. That looks so pretty. It's so much pretty. It's sparkly and bubbly. It's just what every little girl wants. Um, and it's not pink. <laughs> I have nothing against pink. So hopefully this will be a tradition that um, we can continue. So if my niece just tells me the theme of the birthday party for next year, because she'll be four, and she wants to do another, you know, a Moana-themed birthday party, if she's moved on to something else, then we be making a cake topper for her um and actually i i should have done one for graduation season because this, this is you know kids are graduating um either from college or from high school or just going to kindergarten you know any old reason to make it. and it would be beautiful for your graduation season with the cap and gown and the year um yeah you can really go do some really good things, especially with the school colors. Sure, yeah. Right? Put everyone's colors. Really cool. I hadn't thought about that. Because I did a cake topper for my mom, but it wasn't a shaker cake topper. Let's see. Push that in there. And so where this is going to go right in the wave um i'm gonna go ahead and put the angel on and i am going to tie and then once i get the um i'm trying to decide if i want to do that let me see put the angel on I was just making sure if I put the angel on, would I have an issue with the, just making sure, like getting my intention set. Okay, so I just don't wanna have any issues with this. Boom. I'm laying it this way so I can get the most coverage, seems like. And then if I have to, I, I think I have a. Problem. That one that I already cut. All right, so let's pop these backers off.
Heating up now, I can feel it. Let's get it done, Brenda. We're getting it done. I was thinking about my name. Um, got an old Norris name. I don't think Brenda's a family name. Um, so yeah, I looked up. I had to do a speech in college. I don't know why I'm thinking about my college days. I was, you know, they have you take speech in college. They take a whole lot of things, which I'm very grateful for. Um, and uh, one of the assignments was to introduce yourself. So you needed to do something kind of unique. Perfect. So one of the assignments was to, you know, introduce yourself and find something unique about yourself that you could tell the class. Let me pop that. Um, everything's popped out. Can't have too much in this project. Can't, you know, can't go wrong with all the dimensions. Um, but I need to be sure. Our center. So um, the the assignment was, and I'll never forget it. It was a pretty interesting speech class because I'd never seen myself video. Had to uh, film your. Uh, she filmed the instructor and filmed you, and you didn't realize how. I mean, the ums. You've got to practice not saying um. It's really hard. Just like you have to stop yourself from saying the um. You don't realize how many ums you say. And um, he said, there you go, that filler. So you have to be conscious of the filler. When I was researching my name, I um, was like, oh, it's a Norse name for sword. What's that? Hey, that's pretty cool for my name. I don't know. I think my grandmother was um, the person who named me. So I think I'm going to put a pop dot right there, but a small one. Oh, that didn't come off at all. So there, that's what my name is. Norse's sword. And um, my maiden name was more so very I'm sure it's very English Scottish whatever I've always wanted to do the uh, ancestry test. I've, I've not done it yet but I'm really interested in doing that the African and you don't know your history so I'd love to find out you know where my African side came from. I am pretty sure, there's no doubt in my mind that we have some European ancestry as well, but the African ancestry. No doubt. None whatsoever. Given the fact that my mom's from Louisiana, I'm sure I got ancestry on both sides. <laughs> my mom and my dad, but you just don't know how much. Sometimes, you know, you want to know, and then sometimes you really don't because you never know what you're going to uncover, you know? I was watching those videos where folks, you know, did the ancestry test, and then they got pretty shocked of results, shocking results, the results they weren't anticipating. So, you know, you have to go and you're going to do that, you know, 23andMe or Ancestry.com or whatever DNA test you take. Um, you got to know you could un kick over some rocks. That's the takeaway, at least I've got when I was watching. I think that's one of the things that they're implying. They don't actually say it out loud. Some of them probably did, but that's the risk, you know, that you could 
potentially take over a block or two. But you got to get ready. But you know, you you need to know. Sometimes you just what's what what was in your path. Okay, so I'll bring this in frame for you guys. Okay, so there we're gonna go. Um, you can actually do the printed image as big or as large. So you can hear it. So it's gonna be curious to little ears. And then here's the three more, and then we're done. So it's you know it's rattles, it shakes, it's cool. I love it. And if my niece puts it together right, and um, when I talked to her, I said you know I would probably advise you to just adhere the skewers to it with tape so that you can whoops so you can then just uh take off the skewers and put it in gate let her play with it and she won't hurt herself. um because the other one would be hot glued i hot glued it in between the layers so maybe Okay, so but since I was mailing it, I just told her to, you know, just position a cake. If I was putting it together, I would, you know, if it was me and I was there, okay, I would position the cake in such a way that no one would see the backside. But, you know, it's a thir three year old birthday party. You, you know, have to take it that serious. <laughs> but if, I, if it was me, I would be doing it. If I would take it that serious. Top it. Candles look good on the cake. Since there's three, I'm sure she's gonna have a big three. I don't recall. I've I've had plenty of birthday parties, and my dad. Oh my god, my dad loved birthday cake. God rest his soul. He loved ice cream and making birthday. Cake and he just loved that. Love that, you know, when your birthday came up, my dad was all about celebrating. And my mom, you know, both of them, he would, you know, he would make sure they had birthday cake and ice cream. And he he wasn't, my dad wasn't a big one for like a big party. I just realized later in life, my dad was kind of like an introvert. um, Because he didn't like a lot of people around the house that he didn't know that weren't, that wasn't family. Um, but if you had a birthday, he would do the cake and the ice cream and we would just, you know, you could bring some friends over, but it wasn't a whole lot of people and we would celebrate the birthday. And, uh, and I was just thinking back, you know, they didn't have the big threes in the letters for the candle. I did like the little tiny candle. And now you can get like the number for the kids. So it'll just be one candle they have to blow out. Guess what, you guys? This cake topper is good. And done. Everything's on here. The threes placed. It's so it's so finally done. I'm so excited. Um, so hopefully, if you like this video, just subscribe, comment, share, um, give me ideas on what you would want to see next, and just help our my channel grow. And I hope you enjoyed. The whole process of putting together this fantastic shaker, shake, 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 shake. Um, this fantastic uh, cake topper. I'll talk to you guys next time.